what's up here with a new video where we're going to talk about gil and specifically we're going to talk about how to count a gil so this is going to be a video for you that i haven't really put in the training mode work you should have and i'm going to give you a basic start to some thing, some things you need to know when playing against gil we're going to cover some specific gil things and we're also going to cover some situations that are very similar to urian because he's his brother he's, they share moves but the outcome is very different and i thought to start with let's just start with like you know his lariat and the thing I want to talk about is, we all seen probably a combo like this, right? Um, we're just going to talk about the wake up here and what you actually can do when you get this kind of knockdown. Because this is not a very good knockdown situation for Gil. So let me show you. If you do a quick get up, he's plus three. If you dash up, he can get like a, uh, he can get lights off. So he can, oh, if we get dashes, he can get lights off. So he can get, a, he can throw you. Oh, he can throw you, but it's like... Uh, Plus one, so the timing is a bit far. But that, that's basically what he gets. He gets like a light stand, light kick, a stand, light punch, crouch, light punch, depending on the stuff. But let me just show you here. Um, if we set the, the dummy to do uh, back get up. And I did like that, but let's just see the range. I don't get anything. Uh, I actually have to like whiff punish you off your wake up button if i try to dash tries i get hit if i try to do stand hard kick i get hit if i do forward hard kick and now we also now we also out in like me doing hard reach you know i can do stand hard punch but like again like i can't really get anything more than that like i can, can i can special cancel the uh stand hard punch into stuff directly but i don't really get any combo button afterwards so what I'm trying to tell you here is if you back get up uh, his uh, if you back recovery his lariat tackles and the and this is specific to like you know his combos where he gets lariat tackle with the light one or the medium one um he gil doesn't really get anything gil has to do a very hard read and he has to be very disrespectful to be able to continue his pressure there is one um uh what you say that is one exception to this rule man that was i was struggling to find the word exception and that is if he does does this combo uh <laughs> he gets lights again that's the only time gil can get a pressure this this that's the only combo gil gets pressure uh off back recovery way like where we we're talking meterless this is the only, like, uh, meterless combo where Gil can, like, follow up. And he's plus after he dashes up after the Lariat. So, let's just put that into, like, you know. And if Gil doesn't do that, like, he has to do something like, you know, this. To be able to get some meaty setups. So, most of the time, Gil is actually unsafe um, when he finishes his combos. And you, if you back recover, this is, we're talking mid screen now. If you back, re back recovery, back recover, you're pretty, you're pretty much scot free. And this is, of course, you know, mid screen. The situations are different in the corner, and usually, it's easier. Well, Gil can get better, way better medies if he gets you into the corner. And there, you have to be more mindful of like the, the guess. But mid screen, if you back recover, Gil can't really do anything. Okay, second advice. Um, this is gonna be a quick one, and it's basically this button right here. Stand hard, uh, forward hard kick. And Gills, me included, like really likes to use the button. And it's not a bad button. It's actually, a, like, it has a ridiculous good, like, uh, hurtbox. Uh, sorry, hitbox. Contra hurtbox. And it's actually, like, good range. And it's actually, I feel like it's more useful than, than Urian's for a step kick. But, as you can see, it's minus six. It's minus six, so you guys have to go into training mode and practice your punishes. If Gil does a is a does a step kick from this range, you can punish. He it really has to be all the way out here for it to be safe. So just you know, you can make it minus four and stuff like that if you really get the get the range right. But like most of the time, it's minus six and it's very punishable. So just like this is just a quick quick one, um, punish. That, that step kick because you should okay third thing and this is just his ex knee 
Um, his EX knee, even though it looks a lot like Urien's EX knee, they are very different. Uh, Gil's EX knee works more like a normal dive kick. In, uh, you actually have to position and hit the opponent correctly to be able to like get it get it to be plus. If you hit around the head, it's minus two. But uh, so Gil actually has to hit around like he has to hit around like the waist area and down to get like a zero unblock slash plus situation. So just like keep that in mind that like even though it's not minus, uh, even though it's not punishable, it's minus two in most situations, and it's actually really hard to get to be plus. Well, it's not really hard. It's just like you have to actually like use it from a like a further away, and even then like you know. So just like take into mind. This is not... Gil's EX knee is not the same as Urien's. And uh, I see a lot of people not uh, get away with, you know, EX knees. Me included. It's hard to remember sometimes that it's actually minus two. And a follow-up note to the EX knee. Compared to Urien's EX knee on hit, they also have a very different re uh, interaction. So uh, Urien's EX knee on hit, most of the time, if Urien does a dash up afterwards, he would actually be in a minus situation on a situation where he didn't really get a a good meaty situation but Gil if it hits it's pretty much in like he is um he is guaranteed a really good meaty situation so that's like the biggest difference between these two like uh Gil's Gil's uh, EX knee when it hits on top of the hit like a dive kick is minus two but on hit Gil actually gets legit uh meaty situations so just take that into mind. Okay, the final thing I want to talk about is just his this specific setup. We all have we have seen it all over Twitter, and uh, this setup uh, specifically. We've seen it all over Twitter, and we that's a lot of discussion. Is this real? Is it fake? Just just back dash. Just do this. Just do that. And I just want to tell you guys that it's a bit more layered than that. Um. So if you don't know the setup, and this is the first time you see it. You're going to see this setup a lot this year. This is like, if the Gil is using V-Trigger 2 as I'm using right now, that is going to be a standard setup from Gil. And it's not a fake setup like people are trying to say. Like, where you just, just backdash and you're out of out of it. Or just um, do this and that. There's, there's a lot of guesses in it and there's a lot of conditioning in it. And uh, I'm just going to go a bit over the options here so you guys understand. So first of all, as you see here, this option right here, I'm using here with the knee. That right there, it's cross up. That means the Ryu has to block in the opposite way. He has to block this way to counter it. If the Gil starts a bit further away, so like around here, it's in front, obviously. Hard to see which side we're talking about. But if we do the same starter here again, You'll hit him, and you won't get a, you won't get the sweet, uh, knockoff, no, sweet combo afterwards. So that's just a bit like you know, like that's a distant dependent thing in uh, which, uh, which knee can be used. But that's more to this mix-up. So another variance that is being used a lot is this. This. It's in front. So. Um, technically. There is a lift right in it. In that you know. If he jumps over. He has to block you know. This this way towards me. If he does the knee over. He has to do this way. And trust me just because. You can't look for it. I've tried in training mode over and over again. You can't react. You can't. Your brain can't. Keep in mind. That it has to look at the gill. See if it's a knee. Or see if it's a jump over and then register that it's a jump over okay so i have to block in front but it looks like he's gonna do a cross up so i block this way still because you know uh like he blocks this way still because you know it looks like a cross up so it's he, he you start blocking the other way anyways just a final note with this like mix up is like people are saying like you can just just backdash and you're out of the mix up i just want to show that that's not really the case uh so just just to show you guys we set the butt to backdash like so so if we do the mix up again, let me, let me show I have the space to do it. So if we do the mix up again. Yeah. 
and then you can follow it up. I did the wrong. You, I think you could do was step kick into. You could probably you can you can probably find really damaging follow offset. But just to show like that is that's layers to this mix up, and it's just not. There's no silver bullet. There's no like you know, um, one option beats all. It's I guess. And it's a get you know it's rock paper scissors between the the guild player and the opponent. Is he gonna backdash? Is he gonna block left? Is he gonna block right? Which thing is the guild gonna do? You know, it's it's a it's a loaded V trigger setup, and there's no one way that works against it. That's the final thing I wanted to show you guys, and this is the final thing I want to talk about this video. It's not really like you know all encompassing. Uh, this is how you beat guild. This is more you know like here is some things you should know. And here's some things people are talking about right now. And I just want to show you guys that there's a bit more to it than it looks. And yeah, I hope hopefully you guys could use some of this information. The first the, the first advice I gave you, I started out with giving you the best advice. I didn't want to save the best for last. I started out with well, you guys really have to understand that if you're mid screen and you back recover, Gil has to take some seri serious risks to be able to continue his pressure. Uh, unless he has meter. Or it's a cross heart punch into the heavy lariat. So like that's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you really hope you guys learned something. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh that's it. That's all. Oh, right. One one last thing. If you like this video and you appreciate what I do, please hit the subscribe button. I'm trying I'm I'm trying to get thousand subscribers. No other reason that I'll and I'll set myself the goal that I want a thousand subscribers. And yeah. That's it. Like it if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Um, hope you guys came safely into the new year. That's it. That's all. Signing out. Bye.